I think when people look at my athletic career as a hockey player, they probably see a lot of success, but I think underneath that, um, to get onto the national team, it was a bit of a bumpy road. Um, Joss and I made our first national team when we were juniors in high school, and then after that, we, we really didn't make a team for another two and a half years, and in that two and a half years, uh, we, we were cut. We were the last two forwards cut from the 2008 World Championship team. And even as a senior in high school, that's still still a heartbreaking experience. And so that road to, to getting onto the national team and making an Olympic team, it really taught us that even though you might not succeed right away, if you continue to put in the work, if you continue to set goals, you can still eventually get there. I know when you're in the moment, it can seem like the end of the world and it can seem like, we'll, well, I'll never achieve my dreams. But I think remembering that a path to success is not always gonna be straight linear. It's You're gonna have bumps on the way. You might have some declines or some plateaus, but if you can continue to, to set goals, whether that's physically, or mentally, academically, um, as a person or as a teammate, if you can continue to set goals and remember that they need to be incremental. You can't get from A to Z. You gotta take those incremental incremental steps to get there. You're eventually gonna get there and you're gonna see success. And success for people, it looks different and it look in, in different ways and not everybody's path is the same. And I think remembering that everybody is different and how you get there, um, those paths can be different. I think throughout any athlete's career, you go through moments. Where I you think might advice be that I would give to my younger less self confidence would than be. You might normally have, and I think um, um, I think of two examples. I think it would be to to 14 just season going into the Sochi Olympics. Not sweat the small uh, it was stuff. The first time uh, I think when we're you know if we're been, for example playing the game and you game make one like, let's like, say big mistake uh, in the game, you know it's obviously you're aware of the mistake. The first time I ever are probably aware of this game game and mistake your coaches are probably aware of it but to not let that impact that the rest of the game or the rest of your day or impact I really how you go into the next game I think I really it's so easy to focus on me, uh, one bad thing that you think everyone is probably thinking of when really people probably aren't really thinking about it your teammates probably aren't thinking about it after a certain amount of time and um, we have a really hard time, I think, as competitive athletes or competitive people to, to not get bogged down in the big mistakes that we think we've made. Going back to the preparation um, I think to if, you know, you if you can, as an athlete, acknowledge the mistake and then what can I do better but to, also on the things that you to might not be, be a better athlete really next time or to make the right play really next time. Bad, and then when that next time comes around, be ready to, to make the right play. And that's really um, I think when I was younger, I used to get so worked up about really um, not only did I know I made the mistake, but worrying about, you know, is the coach going to, is this going to impact the way I get to play, you know, later in the game. And so just, yeah, not sweat the small stuff. You know, everyone going to make mistakes uh, no one is immune to it and then and just going back to that same mentality I think one thing that I'm very fortunate to have is a twin sister who has uh, been my training partner ever since we started working out at a young age and I think that if, if you're wanting to get into training having that person um, to be your accountability partner I, you can't you know, it's easy to say, yeah, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to go work out in the morning. Um, and if there's no one else meeting you there, it's really easy to say, oh, I'll just go tomorrow. But if you know someone's going to meet you at the gym, you can't just leave them hanging. Um, and so I think that's one thing uh, that makes it really easy for me to get up in the morning and to go train. And then I think at a, on a personal level from just an improvement standpoint, I really enjoy the process of just trying to get little improvements um at, at my age it's hard to it's hard to make physical gains in the weight room and when you make those gains it's just really rewarding and even when it's you know really hard or it's conditioning and you're just trying to shave off you know maybe a second on a shuttle or something like that it's even though it's really hard and you know it's gonna suck um being able to finish something and know that you've gotten better and you've put the work in to get better is just really rewarding and no one else knows about it but you and I just think it's really self-gratifying and I 
that's where that's where my confidence comes from is just putting in the work and getting better and seeing those improvements. I think throughout any athlete's career, you go through moments where you might be in a slump or you might have less confidence than you might normally have. And I think uh, I think of two examples in my career in 2013-14 season going into the Sochi Olympics. Uh, it was the first time in my national team career that I'd ever been had ever been healthy scratched from a game when we were playing Finland. Uh, this was a couple months out from the from the Olympics, and it was the first time I had ever not dressed for a game, and I was healthy. I wasn't hurt for it, and there was no other reason that I just wasn't playing good enough at the time. And I could have really let that shake my confidence, but I really let the experience teach me. Uh, maybe what other teammates might be feeling when they're in that situation and really relied on my preparation to get me out of how I was feeling and not let me feel sorry for myself. I think that's a big thing is when you're going through moments where your confidence might be shaken, it's going back to the preparation that you put in to get to where you are. If you prepare every single day, you work on the things that have made you successful but also on the things that you might not be good at as well. It's really easy to work on the things that you're really good at, but if you can continue to work on the things that you might not be good at, that's where you really start to improve as an athlete. And those are the things that I really relied upon. That was my foundation of how I got out of a slump or if my confidence was shaken, really relying on that preparation. And then I think of in 2018 going into the Olympics, uh, my sister and I were scratched for an entire tournament. We didn't play for, I believe it was four games we didn't play in. And going back to that same mentality of relying on what has made us successful in our careers. And by doing that, it, it instilled a confidence in us that no outside force could shake. We knew the work that we had put in over our careers and nothing or no opinion was going to gonna make us think any different of what we thought of ourselves and thought of ourselves as athletes, as leaders, and as teammates. And I think if you can do that and you provide that foundation for yourself as an athlete, you're going to be successful no matter what comes your way.